Hey, Bugman026 here with you. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out for a few minutes while we take a look at another one of these Fortnite action figures. I thought we'd give Omen the going over today. He's kind of a strange looking little guy. Uh, got kind of a, maybe a superhero look where he's lost his cape, maybe left it on the bus, chased uh, bad guys all over town. When he got tired, realized, oh man, I live all the way on the other side of town. I'm going to take a bus. He take a bus back home. When he gets home, he realizes he, he forgot his cape on the bus. So that's kind of what this guy looks like to me. Uh, when I first saw him, I kind of didn't like him. I thought, well, not a lot exciting about him. But the more you get looking, to, looking at him, uh, the more interesting he becomes. He's got a lot of little interesting things going on. Those eyes are really wild because they've got the white with the really fine blue let's get him back out where you can see it with the really fine blue lines in there and and it really depending on where the light is and where it's hitting him it makes his eyes look really different every time you kind of turn him around and you get a different angle there it gives him kind of a different look so he does have a little bit of a you know, a sinister little creepy look to him. I really like this hood. Um, the hood here, it has a peg in the back. Right there. Um, and uh, it pegs into a hole in the top of his back, at the base of his neck there. So you can actually pose his head where you want it to be and then come back in here and stick the hood on that way the hood doesn't impede the head movement much so that is really cool uh, you normally don't see that a lot of times the hood will be attached to the head like old Zartan back in the day um, he's got a really cool color design on him when you get him in a really nice light and start looking at him he's kinda got that iridescence to him where he wants to look either purple or blue um, these shoulder pads right here on his arms. Once again, we get that neat little hidey hole aspect going on up here where he can raise his arms and still have his really cool armor. This, um, All of this up in here really reminds me of this guy, the Mercenary Wraith from the old 25th anniversary G.I. Joe line. He has the same similar type of armor look I don't know why he reminds me so much of him but this guy can't raise his arms he couldn't raise his arms to you know surrender to the police so they just have to you know, take him out um, he's got some really neat gauntlets on his arms right here it's got this little got this little tri point on it looks pretty lethal if you punch you in the chest with it it's got some really neat uh, Really neat paintwork right there, outlining a lot of his uh, shoulder pads, and you've got this on the arm here, um, and he's got a little bit up here, way up here on top of his shoulders, and then there's also some down there on his boots. I thought it was really neat that we get to see gray on his fingertips. Now, he's, I have to wonder, is that the color on the glove or is that his finger color is that his skin color maybe he's some sort of ghoul or something come back from the beyond is going to take his revenge who knows i um, got a really neat flow right here in his legs um, once you get his legs on there just right and the sculpt just really looks nice and flowing you turn his leg a little bit though and it kind of throws it off and then you'll have to bring it back around and get him situated up to make him look right. I really like these uh, horizontal lines on what looks like you know body padding or under padding or maybe the body suit or something and it comes on down and follows suit down with the uh, legs. I think this side's a little bit better you can see the side a little better but when you get down here to the calf notice how it goes to a checkerboard pattern nowhere else on this figure does he have that checkerboard pattern except right down there on the calf it's kind of odd a little weird looking he's got these little spats going on down here at the bottom of his ankles 
and pretty good sized feet. Um, even with the uh, little spats here, his ankle articulation is still really good. Uh, that is one thing about this figure. Uh, this figure and his articulation and range of movement is incredible. There's not a lot of poses you can't get this guy in. Uh, he really moves well. He can do that uh, Billy Jack kick. Like I said earlier, he's not a very exciting figure, to be totally honest. Uh, kind of plain, but streamlined. And I think the streamlining makes him look just a little bit taller than a lot of the other figures. But he's not. He's the same height. I've lined him up against a few. And uh, they're all the same height there. So he's a really nice, really nice addition, but kind of one that he kind of blends into the background and kind of hovers in the back just a little bit. He, maybe a little ho-hum. His whooping stick, <laughs> his harvesting tool is called the Oracle Axe. And it's a really neat piece with this, like a crystal ball on the end of it. And it comes down with a, again, the horizontal quit flopping. The horizontal uh, lines on the handle. And when you turn it around, it's got the nice little three-pronged claw on the end there. You stick him in the ground and maybe do the Indiana Jones where you laser beam. I will say that uh, this is molded out of that purple that translucent that makes that ball there so I have a feeling with the black paint that's on it I've kind of got a feeling that uh, that's going to peel off after a while and uh, especially if if you use it too much and bend it too much I got a feeling that it's going to crack and pop off he also came packed above him was packed the uh, tactical shotgun in the rare blue color He's got some nice, uh, nice tan color on there. Really neat. Not saying that this was for him, but it was packed in the package above him. So I thought I would show it at the same time. So yeah, there's a uh, pretty cool figure. Like I said, he's he's a little on the plain side, but I think that. With the coloring, it kind of goes to his advantage. Um, and with these eyes, he got some creepy looking eyes there. Anyway, I thank you for stopping by, hanging out with me for a little while. Enjoy these Fortnite figures. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.